University of New South Wales. My name is Peter Brown. I'm the Director of First Year Mathematics here at UNSW. And I'm the person you can come to and get advice and help both with the administration of the subject and also with the mathematics. So we're talking about here today this course, Fundamentals of Mathematics, B Mathematics 1011. And I'm going to take you through some of the main points in the information booklet for this semester 2014. So the, um, this booklet will be available via the bookshop when you get the small course pack that goes with this course, which you can get in our bookshop here. So I'm just going to take you through some of the main points of this so that you're aware of the main issues. Firstly, the Math 1011, Fundamentals of Maths B, is a six unit of credit course and it's offered in both semesters. The course has two halves, it has a calculus half and an algebra uh, component and you'll have a different lecturer for each half of that part of the course. Please note that there are a number of subjects that you cannot do as well as this subject, so you cannot count both Maths 1011 and our standard Maths 1131 towards your degree requirements. So there will be a variety of reasons as to why you're taking this course. Some of you will be taking it because your particular program just requires this course or a small amount of mathematics. This is a terminating course, so it doesn't um, lead on to anything else. Some of you will be taking it because you ultimately want to be doing Maths 1131, but perhaps are not quite ready for that yet, and so you're using this as a way of improving your mathematical knowledge as a stepping stone into Maths 1131. But remember, you cannot count both of those in your degree. Now, the assumed knowledge in this course um, is that you have done HSC, two-unit mathematics, that's the calculus-based, not the general, but the calculus-based two-unit mathematics course in New South Wales, and you have a mark of 70 or better. If you've come in via a different pathway and you're not quite sure what your how your mathematical background compares with this New South Wales two-unit course, please come and get some advice on that. You will need, however, to have a, a reasonable mastery of that elementary calculus and algebra and trigonometry and so on from the HSC2 unit course. I'll just skip forward a little bit. The lecturers for the course, as I said, you, there are two components, calculus and algebra. The calculus lecturer is Tanam Shaw and her office number and so on is, is listed there in the information booklet. And the algebra lecturer is Frank Reed and he also has, has his personal information listed there. And the lecturer in charge of computing, because there will be a computing component, is Dr. Jonathan Cress. And so if you have any inquiries about computing, the computing aspect, he's the person to contact. For tutorial administration, then Ms. Fra uh, Francie Fan in student services is the person to contact, and that's her uh, room number there. Any other issues, you can please come and talk to me. The lecture times, the lectures begin in week one and continue through to week 12. And the lecture times are as follows, Monday 2 to 3, 3 to 4, Thursday 9 to 10, 10 to 11. The Monday class is in the Red Centre Theatre and the Thursday class is in Central Lecture Block, CLB 4. Now, attending lectures is important. Some students, I think, very unwisely decide they can teach themselves all the material. This is a very unwise thing to do. The lecturers are very, very good lecturers. They're very competent. They are also very patient, and they will explain the material to you very well. If you choose not to come to lectures, then you often will be missing out on important things, including important messages and so on. There will be tutorials. There are one, there's one tutorial per week in each of the algebra and the calculus components. And the algebra uh, tutorial is generally in the second half of the week, calculus in the first half of the week. If you have any issues with um, 
You can change your own tutorials up to the end of week one. After that, you must come to student services and uh, make arrangements to change tutorials. Tutorials commence in week two. So no tutorials in week one. They start in week two and they will continue until week 13. Attendance in tutorials is uh, compulsory and there will be a role called in tutorials. If you don't, if you happen to miss a tutorial, well, that's okay if you miss the odd one. Um, you don't need to bring in medical certificates for missing a tutorial, but if, if you miss a class test, then you should bring in a medical certificate to your tutor as soon as possible after that particular week. So the following week or the week after you bring a medical certificate and then an M will be recorded. You should prepare for tutorials, don't just turn up having not looked at the material. Tutorials are a way of you sorting out your particular issues and, and problems and you must have a look at the materials beforehand. The textbooks for the subject are listed there, Ariane Lardner and Fitzpatrick. I suggest you wait until the lectures begin uh, and see what the lecturers say about uh, how important these are going to be. There is also other material contained in the course pack that is available in the bookshop and there will be some material available also on Moodle. There will be a computing component to the course and it's partly interwoven with the course materials and partly independent of them. So it's constructed so that you can teach yourself so there won't be any formal lectures on the computing component. It's structured so that you teach yourself how to use the Maple software package that you can use to solve a variety of mathematical problems. The aim is to give you some experience with using computational techniques. There is an introductory video available on UNSW Moodle that will get you started and tell you how to log in, how to find the system, how to log into it, and how to get started with it. It doesn't require a huge amount of work, but don't leave it to the last minute. Uh, make sure you get on to that fairly early. Now, students often get confused between Maple, which is a computer package that you're going to learn how to use to solve problems, and Maple TA, which is a different system altogether, Maple TA is part of our assessment system. So it's there for online tests. And you don't need to know anything about Maple essentially to work with Maple TA. All you need to know is how to enter the answers to the questions that are being asked. So on the Maple TA online tests, you'll be given mathematical questions that you have to solve and then you enter your answer using um, the very simple Maple notation. And so again, you need to get information um, on Moodle about how to get started with Maple TA. There will be a number of online class tests uh, which will count towards your assessment that use this Maple TA program. The, class, the, the assessment will be made up of class tests. There will be four class tests, two algebra, two calculus. Each of them will be marked out of 10, and we take the best three of those, best three of the four tests. And then we turn that mark into a mark out of 20%. There will be a computing test later in the semester, which is worth 5%. There will be a number of online class tests, and these count 5% uh, towards the total. And the end of semester exam counts 70%. The end of semester exam is a multiple choice exam that you will take during the examination period. Please note the following. We do not allow calculators in the class tests. You are allowed to use them in the final exam, however. In the class tests, we try and arrange that the arithmetic is fairly straightforward, and so we expect you to be able to do basic arithmetic without using calculators. We, the tutors will enter the marks after, the, after they've been marked into our web portal. And again, on Moodle, through the Maths and Stats marks, marks link on the home page of, of Moodle, you'll be able to see your class test marks entered there, and you should check those at the end of the semester 
check those that they're all there and correctly entered. If you have any issues with that, then you should bring them to Student Services or myself. But you must do this no later than the Friday of week 13. Every semester, students turn up after the results have come out saying, oh, my class test wasn't entered properly, it's too late then. You must check that at the end. There will be a reminder of that at the end of semester, but please note that you have to do that before the exam and not after it. Your final raw mark will be uh, scale. It will be moderated by the School of Maths and Statistics. Um, generally, I don't do a lot of scaling on the marks for this course, so basically you get pretty well what, what, what you get on this course. The, um, the online tests are really designed, these are the Maple TA online tests, these are really designed as a preparation for your written class tests. They're designed to, to give you a sort of run through, if you like, of, of the sort of mathematics you're likely to get on the written class tests, and so they're, they're very useful. You are allowed five attempts at each test, and so you can, you can have several goes at them, five attempts, and your best um, eight tests uh, will, will contribute up to 5% of your final grade. Now, don't miss out on these. The first test um, is in week one as a preparation for week two tutorials. Each test should be your own work, but you can discuss the methods and so on with other students. That's fine. And you'll do, you can do these at home. You can, use, you can use the labs here at the university or you can do these online tests at home. But note, they will come um, fast and furious, and so you must make sure you keep up with these. Uh, each test you get presented will be slightly different, so you, don't, you can't just copy the answers from the, from the previous test. No additional attempts will be granted. You've got five attempts, and so uh, use the five attempts wisely, and there's no deadline or, uh, for, or extensions for these. Because you've got several weeks in order to be able to do them, there is no deadline, sorry, there is no extension of the deadline and no additional attempts uh, will be granted for these. And the class tests, as I mentioned, there are two algebra and two calculus. There's some sample tests in the back of the calculus and algebra booklets for you to practice with. Uh, at the tests, you must do the test in your correct tutorial. So, Please make sure you know exactly what tutorial you're supposed to be in and you do your test in the officially allocated tutorial. You should bring your ID card, some writing paper and a stapler and normal conditions apply. Again, no calculators and we take the best three of the, um, of the four tests. We use the uh, electronic learning environment called UNSW Moodle which you can access uh, from your MyUNSW and then you'll have a list of your subjects there and you can go into this particular subject, Maths 1011, to get the required information. The URL is listed there, but you can get there also via MyUNSW and you will need your password. As I mentioned, the final exam is a multiple choice exam, uh, which you'll do at the end of, of the semester. We do provide lots of assistance and help to students. Our aim, we want our students to do well, we want them to enjoy their courses, we want our students to get through their courses. So we have a number of different ways of assisting you. You will have your tutors uh, for the course, you'll have your lecturers, there will also be a roster displayed on the notice board um, near the school office which will, and it's also available from the web page, and that will have a list of full-time members of staff uh, available during the week you can go to to get extra help. Also, as well as that, we have a wonderful thing called the Student Support Scheme, which is financed by the school. It's a drop-in centre. It's run by uh, senior students and postgraduate and honours students in the school. And you, all you have to do is just turn up there uh, sign your name in and then you can ask any, any questions you like about the mathematics and that's available quite a number of hours every day during the semester right up to the final exam. So please avail yourself of the student support scheme 
it's there for you, it's free, you don't have to pay for this, you just go in and get some help and assistance there. More information about the Student Support Scheme is there in the um, information booklet. You should also read, of course, things about academic misconduct and so on. The class tests are uh, important. If you miss a class test, as I mentioned before, please do bring a medical certificate to your tutor. Do not apply online for special consideration for class tests because it won't be replied to. In fact, you'll get a message saying that you have to, it must be a certain percentage before you can apply online. The only time you would apply online for special consideration is for the final exam. So are you the final exam? Please do not apply for special consideration for class tests or online tests. If you are ill during the semester, if you are ill, sorry, not during the semester, if you are ill for the final exam, then please to read carefully the instructions regarding special consideration. I won't go through these now because this, would only, this will only affect a very small number, if any, and it will be at the end of the semester. But please be aware of what the rules and regulations are. Every semester I have students who wait till the results come out and then they turn up wanting special consideration and it's too late. So this only affects exams, but please be aware of what the rules and regulations are for special consideration for the exam, and that means uh, access to a deferred exam. We will be putting up a provisional uh, um, list of results early. We put them up before the university releases the official results. Although we call them provisional results, um, they will essentially be the final result. So they will, in al almost every instance, they will not change. We will put these up quite a few weeks before the university puts their results up. So the, the, we're aiming to try and do that by late um, on the 28th of November, uh, and you can see what your result is there. Now, we, on Monday the 1st of December, if you've applied for special consideration, you can find out whether you've been granted that by phoning the school office. That's only if you've applied for that. And there'll be timetables as to when the deferred exams are going to be on. Please to read all that very carefully. That's very important. Please to note the schools, the university's rules on plagiarism and so on. I won't go through the syllabus. You'll see the syllabus there and you'll be learning the mathematics anyway. I'm pleased to have a careful look here um, at this information in the booklet and also will remind you about things like Maple TA. So that's enough, I think, uh, for you to understand the basic structure of how the, administ the administration of the course runs. If you have any issues or problems during the semester, please to come and see me and speak to me. Uh, unfortunately, again, I, in my experience, students wait until the final results come out and then come in with, ver with various stories of problems and issues they've had during the semester and it's too late at that point. If you are having issues, please come and get advice during the semester. Don't wait till after the results have come out. Um, so. Um, my door is always open and I'm always happy to spend time with students and assist them with whatever problems, including mathematical problems, that they might be having. So I wish you all the best for this coming semester in this course and I hope all goes well for you and that you have a very pleasant and enjoyable time with us in this course. Thank you.